Hey everyone, uh, I got a couple big competitions coming up, so I thought I'd give a quick mains update for what I'm using uh, this summer. Uh, if you didn't know, I got a Lexington competition in Massachusetts this weekend. Uh, next weekend is U.S. Nationals, and the weekend after that is World Championships. So uh, obviously, kind of the big trip for the summer. Um, if you're watching this when the video comes out, I'm on a plane right now to Massachusetts, and I'll be gone for about three weeks uh, competing all over the world. Um, so. I guess I'll go through all my events in order. Um, first event is 3x3. Three three. Uh, right now, I'm using the Moyu Weilong GTS 2M Lite, if that's not a long enough name. Um, so, I'm using the Lite version. The cubicle makes uh, the GTS 2 Lite and the heavy magnets. Um, I'm not using, I haven't even tried the ones that Moyu makes themselves. I really like the cubicle ones. Um, really good stuff. Uh, I like the light one a little more just because it's not quite as clicky and I don't really need that much clicky feel in a 3x3. But um, it's pretty much personal preference. I think they're both good cubes. I have really good times on both of them. Um, this cube really has helped me out officially. Um, it's really consistent for me officially. Kind of really kind of unlocked the door for consistent sub-9 official averages. At last competition I was 848686 and I was pretty happy with that. Um, for lube, I used Trax's 10k in this. Um, Pretty much, it gets a nice gummy feel. Um, too much, and it's going to be too slow and too little, and it gets just way too fast. So I recommend putting in 10k. If it's too much, just wipe some out. Not enough, just put in a little more. Uh, I really like it. Um, for 4x4, I've uh, started using the uh, Chi Wu Kui M. Also, the cubicle Chi Wu Kui M. Um, I really liked my Yushin Blue. The only problem was I could control it and turn as fast as I could at home. But in competition, my turning style is a little rougher and not as accurate, and um, it was leading to some lockups, so I switched over to the Chi Wu Um It's an alright cube. Um, I think it's okay. I really wish it was faster. Um, maybe other people's are faster, but mine really just doesn't quite turn as absolutely fast as I want it to. I can definitely turn my Yushin Blue uh, M faster. The only thing is that uh, the Wu is definitely a lot more stable, and especially for competition solving. Um, it gives me faster competition times. Uh, at home, they're probably about the same, but in competition is really what I'm kind of going for, so uh, I just kind of pick this one on the stability. I'd really like to see a cube that kind of combines the two aspects with the pure speed of the Yushin and the stability of the Wukui, but maybe next generation. Uh, 5x5 is the only thing that hasn't changed at all. Still using my Yushin 5. I've been using this for about uh, over a year now. I mean, I love this puzzle. I've raved about it for a long time. I think it's, I mean, I think it's the best puzzle on the market. Um, like, I, I, I love it. I can turn it literally as fast as I possibly want. I hardly ever lock up, never pop on it. Uh, it's got just the right amount of, like, feedback and stability to give me really good times. Um, for lube, I use 50k. Just enough 50k to, um, slow it down to where it's a little nice and crunchy. Um, I usually have my tensions pretty loose and then use 50k to kind of, like, make it stable. Um, yeah, just got a sub-50 average of 12 on this, which is one of my pre-Worlds goals I set back in January, so pretty happy with that. Hopefully, uh, we can win Nationals and maybe win Worlds as well. Over That's a little more of a stretch. Uh, for 7x7, uh, I'm still using a Yushin Huanlong 7x7, although the only difference is that I actually got, if you can see these, like, there's bigger holes in here now. Um, I sent one off to Brennan Balance, who won Worlds in 09. Um, he modded this by hand for me. Uh, Brennan mods cubes better than anyone I've ever met in the entire world. He can make literally anything a good cube. He made a Bo Chuang usable by me, and I honestly, that cube is terrible. Um, so yeah, Brennan did an amazing job with this. The only problem with the regular Yushin 7 was that uh, it was a little too loose, or it was a little too fast and like hard to control. With uh, the mod, I'm not really sure what goes in the mod besides the flooring style holes, but um, I can keep it a little tighter. Uh, I can keep it, keep it a little tighter and allows me to it gives it some more stability and uh, kind of locks into place a little better. Also, I'm using Trax's 50k on this, uh, just enough to make it crunchy. Definitely don't want to put too much in as it'll get really sluggish really fast, and cleaning out a 7x7 is a huge pain. So, uh, just enough to make it crunchy on the middle layers. Also, it keeps the middle layers kind of stuck together a little better, so 3 or 3 stage is really smooth and fluid on this thing, and I mean, I really love it. Uh, yeah, fantastic cube. I just got a 218 average of 12, which is right on the world record, so hopefully, I'd like to get the world record single on average, or 7x7, seven seven, and obviously win Nats and Worlds. 6x6 um, six six is technically the same cube. Um, Yushin Red with 5F High Spring still. Um, I really liked my old Yushin Red cube, however, I did about 12,000 saws on it, which 
believe it or not, it starts to wear down a cube a little bit, and it was kind of dying. Um, but luckily, last weekend at 65, I picked up this magnetic Yushin Blue 6x6, and wow, it is... This thing is un like it is just straight up unbelievable. Um, I set all my PBs of this cube. I got a 124, I mean a three, 126 average of five, 129 average of 12 on this cube. It's I it, it's straight up. It's it's pretty quite. It's unbelievable how fast this cube is. Um, the only problem is that the inner magnets are a little too stiff, so it's like a little too clicky on the inner layers. But I mean, there aren't really too many of these that even exist, so beggars can't really be choosers here. Uh, I talked to Phil and Chris from the cubicle, and they're interested in looking at this and maybe producing them in the future. Because man, this I mean, this six by six is straight up. It's it's unbelievable. Um, I really just like the like I I really I, the Yushin Red Six was already the best in general. However, it took it I mean, it required to have a little more accurate turning, and getting a good Yushin Red Six was kind of a hassle. I'm not sure if this is just, I, this is the only magnetic 6 I've tried, but I'm assuming it's a little bit easier to find a good magnetic one if you magnetize it. So if you have a good Yushin Red, I'd highly recommend magnetizing it, as this thing is amazing. Um, I haven't put any lube in this myself, but uh, I've been told it's just a ton of Maru to speed it up and nothing else, as Maru doesn't really leave any residue, and yeah, I'm definitely not going to mess with the winning formula here. Um, a little annoyed, I still don't have a sub-120 single officially. Every time I'm about to get one, I get just enough parodies, so it's a 121, but that's pretty inevitable. Uh, hopefully, see a world record this weekend and next weekend. I'd like to get a sub-130 official Mina 3, uh, and then obviously win Worlds and Nets. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm leaving, or I'm on a plane right now. Uh, I'm going to be competing this weekend and the next two weekends. So uh, you can check it out on cubecomps.com for the results. Uh, I know Nats and Worlds are going to be live streamed with probably some high quality uh, footage, maybe some commentary, so definitely keep, stay tuned and check those out.